Welcome. This meditation is called Quieting the Mind, Observing. Emptying the mind of everyday thoughts by observing them, intentionally releasing them, and then bringing the mind to focus with a chosen thought. I'm reading this and taking this from Breathing and Quieting the Mind by Rovdov Bear Pinson. Clear a space that is welcoming, clean, and comfortable. And be realistic about how long you're going to do this. You can start with 5 or 10 minutes and then build up to 15 or 20. Meditation is a practice of being present, of showing up and honoring that nothing else needs to be done in this moment. So set up your meditation time in such a way that you can be fully available to it. Maybe you might need to wake up a little earlier or take a break from work. Before you begin, choose a word or a verse to serve as an audible focus point to calm and center you. The examples Rav Pinson gives here is all is one, Hashem, meaning Almighty God, create for me a pure heart, or perhaps all existence is a reflection of the Holy One, blessed be He. So you can choose a verse or a word. You could just say shalom, peace, whatever works for you. In order to keep this simple, I'm going to use the word shalom. It also happens to be another name of God, so that works for me. In addition, choose a question or a character trait that challenges you and that you wish to resolve. So sit in your designated spot, comfortably and relaxed, but not overly relaxed, so that you may fall asleep. Relax your body and naturally breathe. And I'm going to use the word shalom as a mantra, as a focus point. And I'm going to say it softly as I exhale. Shalom. Shalom. And if you notice a body sensation, just notice it and breathe into it. And there may be an emotion that comes with that sensation. And recognize the sensation and the emotion and then come back to the focus point of the breath and the word or the phrase that you've chosen.
if you notice that your mind is noisy, invite that noisy brain to relax and breathe with you. It's okay. You may take your hand and put it on your chest or on your belly. And come back to the word or the phrase that you've chosen. Shalom. Experiment with when you say the phrase, whether with the in-breath or the out-breath, or in between the breaths, as long as you use it as an anchor and a focus point. Invite all of yourself into this space here and now. You do not need to close your eyes, but it may be helpful. Quieting the mind as you sit in the safe space of silence and solitude, various sounds, sensations, thoughts, and feelings may arise. Allow them to surface without the need to hold onto, internalize, or judge them. As they come, so they go, like clouds, coming and going. Is there noise coming from outside? Do you feel an urge to reach for your phone or your to-do list? Is it secretly enjoyable to know that there is nothing else you need to do in this moment other than be here? Now, take a few deep breaths of transition. With each exhale, let it all go and simply be. Gently bring your awareness to your thoughts. Are they random, silly, foolish, incessant? As you practice quieting the mind softly, recite your chosen saying again and again. Let this serve as the focal point of your meditation, returning your mind to center when it wanders off. The repetition of this saying diffuses distraction. With gentle awareness, you may notice that your head is becoming more empty and quiet. If your mind wanders astray, return to your focal point. Keep on reciting over and over again your chosen sing. 
Do so with gentleness and calm. Try not to work yourself up. As the mind reaches quiet and settles, introduce your question, challenge, or affirmation. Now is the time for the bigger issue you are dealing with to enter. Allow this challenge or affirmation to be your new saying, repeating it smoothly and steadily again and again. Sit with it and become open to an inner awakening and clarity. So I'm going to join you for this part and I will quietly and silently add my affirmation or my question. repeating your question, your affirmation, or your dilemma over and over and over again, and allowing the quiet mind to just be there and allow that You may notice body sensations, aches or pains, or emotions. Just allow those to happen and come back to your question or your affirmation 
for your dilemma. We're sitting with the question and we're open to an inner awakening and clarity. When you run out of time, do not run off with the urge to rush back into a fast, thoughtless pace. Seal your practice with a prayer, a melody, that lifts your soul, that everything you have just worked on is being taken care of. Thank you for joining me.